What's up guys, it's Nathaniel Messiah. So, I know my way around the deadlift, I'm a powerlifter. However, there's a guy called Chris Nicholson who does things a bit differently. And today, he's gonna to be teaching me how to do an adaptive deadlift. Oh shoot, that's Chris. Yo. What's happening? What are you doing? I'm good man, yeah? All right, what's this you're doing over here? Starting my back workout, starting off with some seated deadlifts. Do you want to jump in? Yeah, crack on, mate. Let's get it. What is your best on the seated deadlift? 380. 380? Yeah, for 380 for two. That's mad. My personal best on normal deadlifts is 320. If I came into this, it would be lower, though, because I don't know how to do it, do you reckon? I'd never suggest to anybody just jump straight. Jump in, yeah. Because yeah. even looking at this, I would strip it off a bit if I was going to go and do it. But yeah. How did it come about? Like, how do you get into this? And... <laughs> so that's... Eight years ago when I was put on my backside, really. So after that, I ended up in hospital, didn't get back up because it's been so hard to adapt sort of like general run of the mill sort of like exercises. It's just, I found a sort of like a niche group out there for people who are disabled, who can't lift. Like the normal way, like you do your deadlift, you know, you're standing up, you're doing it. For me, it's just find something that I can somewhat do the same, but just trying to adapt it to my disability. To you, yeah, to cater yeah. to me. Like everybody's different at the end of the day. Yeah, like your grip's different to someone else's grip. Someone else might use chalk, you might not use chalk. Yeah. So it's just just finding little adaptions that work for me. And do you think some people online don't fully understand it? I think the problem with online is people don't what people don't understand they don't like. Yeah. So they say that like, why is he doing this instead of yeah. asking the question to just discover. Yeah, exactly. So like people can be quite have this perception of the way something should be done. Like people see a deadlift, they automatically think a deadlift should be done your way. Even with me, like I do conventional deadlifts, yeah. but sumo deadlifts are also allowed in powerlifting, but a lot of people kind of hate on sumo, yeah, when yeah, yeah. really it's just down to the lifter. What's your deadlift technique then? I do conventional. You do conventional. And I do over-under. Yeah, yeah, see, I go over-over on mine. Yeah, yeah. I presume you go thumb-over as well, don't you? I can't, to be honest, I can't. I don't yeah, I guess so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you fancy a go? Yeah, do you want to give me a go on this? Yeah, man. Let's, right. let's unrack it a bit. Let's just try it. ease you in. Right, so yo, let's go. Let's what am I doing? It. What am I doing? So obviously your legs are a lot longer than mine. Yeah. And so if we get you square to the bar, All right. put your legs over it. Yeah. Legs over. Legs over. What I want you to do is I want you to sit into the bar, and then I want you to pull your shoulders back, and then sort of go in over it. I want you to go a little bit wider with your arms until it feels almost a little bit uncomfortable. Now, I want you to lift as you're starting off your deadlift, but bring the bar underneath your bum. So try and keep your arms straight, yeah. shoulders back. Try and keep that dish in your back, chest chest out, and then lift straight, because the bar should flow like a pendulum. It should go straight so back. So I roll it back and then lift it? No, no, try and roll a fraction, a little bit, yeah. then lift up. Oh, okay. So, so you're there, basically and going. Okay. All right, shall I get, all right, let's, let's try a couple reps. Yeah. Yeah, now down. That's hard, you. Yeah. Don't fall off, because you're going to go. I'm, to, I'm about fall to fall. <laughs> I'm about to fall. Mate, I don't know how I do it sometimes. All right. ask. I don't know how you do it either. This is hard. A lot of people that I train with or see me train at the gym, they'll go, why are you doing it? For me, it's trying to keep my back as strong as I possible. I can feel that a lot in my erectors. Yeah. And my back all down. Man, that is hot. Do you know what, yeah? Anyone online who just thinks that because it's seated, it's easy, they're completely wrong, because that's only, what, 120? Yeah. That is hard. Like, as a first timer, obviously if I was to learn that, I could obviously do more, but oh, that is okay. not easy. That's heavy, man. So the difference, just looking at you when you're lifting then, you can see all like your legs engaging. Yeah. Just try and keep you on. So like the difficulty that I have is making sure that I don't fucking slide Oh off. yeah, because, yeah. Because I've got no feeling and no sensation in my legs. If I say go too far forward and don't control you it, you don't down, know. I'm straight off. <laughs> Mate. That's, to be honest, yeah, that just makes it that much more impressive because my legs there were like stopping me from falling off. Yeah, because you're naturally going to brace. Yeah. I reckon you could go up. Yeah. Come on. Ah, Mate, what's go, he trying to do, man? Mate, go get your straps. I don't even know how to use straps. What? Mate, do you know what? That's that's does the grip strength. People wonder, like, I don't train my grip at all, but because I never use straps, yeah. my grip just had to adapt. 
That's why I got the 100 kg dumbbell challenge over my So wait, don't, don't question the text. Don't question the text. <laughs> All right, so what is this on the bar? Uh, 100 each side, so 220. 220. Yeah. Whew. All right, let's try it. I'm doing one rep. I'm not doing any more than one rep. Oh, this. okay. I'm doing one. Come on, my little girl can lift that. Focus on your technique, and then it'll just glide up. Oh, man, that's hot. Straight up. There you go. The legs went. Yeah, but the, see, that's exactly what happens with mine. Well, you know, at least we got it. At least we got yeah, it. I'm man. actually happy with that. 220 on my first day. Mate, I've got so much respect for you and that now because you see it, and obviously because you're seated, it doesn't look as hard. But I challenge anyone, yeah? Go on the bench, set up like this, and see how heavy you get because I promise yeah. you, it's harder than you think. Well, the world record's for 6 620 for that. 620? 620. 620. Yeah, all right, that's, that's me done, mate. <laughs> 620. <laughs>